Alright. So, uh, I made a uh, Lego pneumatic engine out of a, uh, a normal Lego fake engine. This isn't my design. Uh, I copied it off of a YouTuber who I will link in the description. And uh, I just simply improved it. And uh, this is just a prototype. I'm going to build a, a, a V8 later. But uh, I just wanted to see if this concept works. And uh, it does. So um, what I have here is just a normal Lego cylinder. Um, on the side of it, I have a hole drilled on the center of it uh, for exhaust. That's when the piston's at bottom dead center. The hole opens up right at the very top of the piston there. Um, this here is the most important part, really. Um, inside of it, at the very top of it, there is a tire valve from an automotive car tire. And uh, I have it set so that uh, every time the piston comes up, it hits that tire valve and incoming compressed air goes in through here and enters this black chamber here uh, where the top of the valve is and then uh, shoots into the not combustion chamber but the expansion chamber. The piston has also been modified. Um, I had to uh, put the piston on a drill and uh, uh, widen the gap for the uh, piston ring there which I have just a little, I think it's a number five O-ring. Goes in nice and smooth and still has good compression. For lubrication, I'm just using some uh, WD-40 soak on. Assembly's real straightforward since it's just one cylinder. There we go, assembly's done. So you can see, piston going up and down in there. I have my compressor set up to, I think it's 70, I think it says. And uh, I wish I had some UV line connecting this to this, but again, this is just a prototype. It just needs to function. So, anyways, here it goes. I'm holding the flywheel because it tends to come off. But, uh, it does work. Alright, I added some lubrication to the crankshafts, and now it should probably spin faster. Hey, it does! <laughs> That's sick. That's sick. <laughs> my light went off because my battery's getting low. But uh, there you go. <laughs>